Oh, I forgot to change the characters. Okay. Seth and Gunnar. And Snake. I think this is... Did we see this at some... We saw this at a recent tournament. I know we... Um, it was a uh, summit. Okay. Oh, uh, AK versus Tweak. How did Tweak do again? Did he... Second. No, I know, like, oh, overall. In like, in this matchup. Did he, uh... did he beat up all Kage? I want to say yes, because I feel like I was surprised about the fact that he beat him. Oh yeah, because he, uh, yeah, he didn't really use Shadow Boy that much. He has a, a problem with Snake as well, so. but he's gotten a lot of confidence. What are you doing? Oh, I forgot. Did I put Melange on both of them? <laughs> Okay, now it's time. immediately getting a run up grab. Honestly, honestly, running up and grabbing is one of the best counter plays that you can do to the snake because Yeah, of... but at the same time, this is a character with a very small grab though. Yeah. You gotta be careful about using that. Well that's the thing is that if you're a sword character and you have enough shield pressure, like having a small grab is not as much of a weakness as people think it is. Hmm. So like, cl take Cloud for the example. His grab is pathetic. True. But, but it's still like very useful because he has like some of the best shield crush in the entire game. Oh, definitely. Ooh, the one's a get attack right there for that answer. Ooh, and does a very C sharp thing with the down smash. I applaud it. <laughs> uh, the tail able to secure the stock off of that. Mm -hmm. oh, pretty good to convert with uh, like. Early hit an air of uh, into uh, up tilt. Looks mm -hmm. like. Oh, uh, beautiful deck coming out from hell. That could have been really bad. <laughs> I, I mean, that's what Milan really needs right now too. Because right now it's just like ship damage mode essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is what Snake excels at. Yes. Look at the crouching. Look at the like hurt. Uh, sh uh, I said uh, shift. I almost said shift box hurting. <laughs> the hurt. The hurt box shifting. From a tail right now, just to avoid all these gigantic sword swings. Look, he's doing it so much. Oh, just waiting it out. Tail classic. Okay. Oh, now nah, he got a good one. Yeah, tail really loves to go for the down smash with the ledge after getting a down throw. Mm -hmm. Like he loves to do that, and sometimes it backfires quite a bit, especially when he's not playing against a stubby character. When he's playing against a thinner one, like yeah. Something. So I've definitely known that. Wait, hold up, what plank? I think he just dash and then the plank of the sword. So, that's not okay. Well, it looks like the Nikita powered through the up beat just to like, yeah. just to blow him up right there. He was taking an up hit and then kind of switch into it to deactivating mode or blowing mode or whatever it is. Chalo says he's watching from home while playing Tekken, a good game. Well, I'm here to inform you that Tekken also has Kazuya Mishima, so it's basically a dead game, basically. Mm -hmm. At least according to Smashers. Oh, waiting for the grenade to blow up. Milan also waiting for it to pop. And now it's, if he can just capitalize off of this board setup right now, he has this done. Oh, Ooh, yes. there we go. I mean, I think that was that point where it's like either you air dodge and then you get orb, or you have to like... Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty much a 50-50. Like, did he just avoid getting side beat? Uh, oh. Like by doing a down tilt. Is that possible? The low profile uh, yeah. Sephiroth side beat. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you just crouch. Yeah, same thing. Just like Kirby. Oh, 
Tekken also has Steve. Oh yeah, Tekken also does technically have Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve Fox. <laughs> Gross. Unfortunate. Sorry to hear that. All right, let's get into game two. Uh, I wonder what stage you have. FD, a very interesting choice. How, uh, how would you say Sephiroth does on this stage? Um, see, for me personally, I like having the uh, platform so uh, that you know, if I get a throw combo on there, then it's like there's only. You know, you're on that platform, you can only go in our, you know, attack. So that's an easy way to get warp set up. Yeah. So now it's just like, okay, if somebody's like just running at you, you might be able to just stop that aggression with an orb, but I think the way that Tail can play, he doesn't have to contest with that. Who is on commentary? It's uh, Hondo and C-Sharp. Oh, the grenade trade is not right there. Yeah, oh, and low profiling, recognizing that these aerials are not... Oh, you get the read? No. I just waited. That means, hey, <laughs> look, look at the worst thing that happened. You just didn't get anything. That's yeah. all. <laughs> the worst thing that could happen is he gets complete stage control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a nice back here coming out right there. <laughs> Trying to control where the Nikita is. Pulling off on it right there and just going back for stage control. Yeah, very, very good. Like, wing would be really good if he can get an aerial or, I guess, a down smash. But all those things are risky against Nick the way that he can. Low profile. Trying that, to read in. I think at, the, at this point, I can tell that Tail is a little bit uh, antsy to get the kill at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Ooh, a little low. Okay, you re grab. Oh, gross. C4 being huge enough to catch it. Okay. Wow. I'm so right now. How, what, what frame is that counter? Seven. Oh, that's pretty fast. Mm, it's somewhat slow. I know this is just oh, I mean, it. But like, the thing is, like, it's got a huge detection hitbox and also a huge activation hitbox. Yeah, and it's all, it also has an active hitbox mm -hmm. attached to it, which is better than every counter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I can't think of a single one that also has that sort of property attached to it. I think one of the only ones that might be better is probably Witch Time, wouldn't you say? Uh, I would sort of say yeah. The thing like with Witch Time is like you have to have that fresh enough. Cause, like that one's one that decays, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Right? And like here's like it doesn't matter if it decays, it also oh. gets smart. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Stabby. I'm, so used, I'm not used to seeing like Cypher just get stabbed like that. Yeah, it's hilarious when it does happen. Chalo ask, is asking, why do so many people show up today? I don't know. I am, because Vlad's not here. Vlad, that's true. I just realized I haven't played a single match. Tail seems to be uh, keeping a very considerable lead at the moment. He, he's just keeping the line. There's no reason the to, right now. you know, just go in. That's yeah, that's a good point. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, mark of a good player. Understand that even though you've got a lead, you just gotta hang back. Yep. The kill will come to you eventually, some of these characters. Yeah, as it just did right now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Otherwise, interest. that was just one DI in on back throw away from the reverse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 